writing brains on. Switch them on. Does everyone have their writing brain on? Okay. Let's review, let's remember what we've been working on. We've been working on essays. We can remember the two articles we compared yesterday. Real quick. It has, um, it has success in the summary. You got it. And what structure were we using as we wrote our essay about those two informational articles? Let's see. Literary essay. It's actually called informational essay, but very, very similar structure. Okay, so you guys, today we're going to look at a sample that one of the third graders at our school wrote yesterday, and it's really good. And we're going to check it out so that we can see how we can revise our own essays to make them as good as we can. Okay, questions okay. about what we're doing today? Okay, so again, today I'm going to teach you how we can revise our own essays by looking at what we call an exemplar informational essay. What's that word exemplar mean, Jason? Um, another example. It means example and it means really good example. Okay, so everyone turn and look up here please. I'm just gonna read it to you and your job right now is to listen. In A Howling Success and The Missing Links, the authors tell us how many animal, the authors tell us how animals can be helped. In A Howling Success, the author tells us how animals can be helped. For example, in the text it says, scientists captured 14 wolves in Canada. Then they took the captured wolves to Yellowstone into huge outdoor pens. When the wolves got used to their surroundings, the scientists let the wolves free. In The Missing Lynx, the author tells us how animals can be helped. For example, lynx eat rabbits, and rabbits were disappearing because of hunting and disease. So people caged rabbits so lynx can eat the rabbits to stay alive because lynx are dying too. That is how the authors tell us how animals can be helped in both articles. Did you write this? No, I didn't write it. What I did is I took it out of my writer's notebook and I typed it because the person's handwriting wasn't necessarily super easy to read and I wanted to make sure that each of you could read this. So let's talk about it. What did this person do well that we know as writers we're supposed to do when we write our informational essays? Maya? Uh, that it quoted the pieces from the text. Yeah, where do you see that? Can you give me an example? It says, like, it says, great at scientists, there's two quotes, and then it says, scientists captured wolves in Canada. Yeah, right here. Quotes at the end. Yep, he quoted, this person quoted from the text. That's what good writers do. What else do we notice? that you guys also know how to do. Tyler. He used, uh, here she used, um, she, uh, capitals and a howling success and missing links. Oh yeah. This writer, you capitalized the names of the articles. And, also, and what else did the writer do with the names of the articles? Uh, put, uh, uh, uh what are those quotation called? Quotation marks. Quotation marks, yeah. That's how we properly write the names of articles. We capitalize them because they're proper nouns. And, and we underline them. And we can put them in quotation marks. Some, some people will teach you to underline them. And they can, uh, and they do this paragraphs too. Paragraphs too? How do we know, how can you just tell by just looking at this? Yeah. Uh -huh. How? Somebody explain it to me. How can you tell they have paragraphs? Aria. By just looking at it? You can see that there's spaces and it means that there's paragraphs because there it has a space and it has a period at the end of a sentence. So it, like right here, the word free and then there's a period and then there aren't any other words right here, are there? Yeah. They went down to the next line. Yep. And they did this. What's this called? Indent Indent Indenting. Indenting. Let me tell you, you guys that if I was reading this for a grade before I even read what the word said, I would look at this and I would go, oh my gosh, there are paragraphs, there are capital letters at the beginning of each sentence, there is punctuation at the end of each sentence, this, this essay is gonna get a good grade. And I would know that without even reading it yet. What grade would you give it? This is a good grade. This is at grade level or a little higher. And I know that each one of you can do this. 
Okay, so I want you to think about your essay that you wrote yesterday and think about what we've just seen here. And in your own minds right now, put your finger up to your mind. Turn it on. You can even move it around a little bit if you want. Make it work. Think to yourselves, what can you do in your essay to make it look more like this one? Keep thinking. When you have at least one or two ideas, give me a thumbs up, please, right under your chin. Awesome. If you don't have your ideas yet, keep thinking. I'm needing to see everybody's thumbs. Because we all have at least one thing we can do to make our essay better. Tyler's got his thumb up, Saul's got his thumb up, AJ and Scott and McCoy and Litzy and Xavier and Lennon and Nick and hey Cadence, yes? Uh, I am Regan. waiting for Marcus. No. Have an idea, buddy? Not yet? Who else am I waiting for? Robert? I don't see your thumb yet. I also don't see your finger up here. Is your brain still working? Okay, turn and tell a partner. What are you going to do to your essay to make it better? I'm going to put the sentences into the 